In this podcast episode, Dr. Dale Bredesen, a renowned neurologist and author, discusses the importance of cognitive health and the prevention of cognitive decline. He emphasizes the need to prioritize cognitive health and shares valuable insights on how to improve brain function and reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Bredesen highlights the significance of recognizing cognitive decline early on and the shift in priorities that occurs when one starts to notice cognitive decline in themselves or their family members. He stresses the importance of investing time, effort, and resources into addressing cognitive health as a top priority. Dr. Bredesen outlines the seven basics for cognitive health, which include diet, exercise, sleep, stress management, brain training, detoxification, and targeted supplements. He emphasizes the importance of following these basics to optimize brain function and reduce the risk of cognitive decline. He recommends a plant-rich, mildly ketogenic diet with periods of fasting to support brain health. He introduces the KetoFlex 123 diet developed by Nutrition for Longevity as a convenient and effective way to improve cognitive function through dietary changes. Dr. Bredesen also highlights the importance of protein intake, especially for maintaining skeletal muscle mass. Dr. Bredesen discusses the benefits of exercise, particularly strength training, and the use of exercise with oxygen therapy to enhance oxygenation and brain perfusion. He emphasizes the role of oxygenation in supporting brain health and suggests incorporating morning sunlight exposure for circadian rhythm regulation. He emphasizes the importance of quality sleep for cognitive health and recommends monitoring oxygen saturation levels during sleep. Dr. Bredesen also highlights the impact of chronic stress on brain function and suggests techniques such as deep breathing to manage stress and improve heart rate variability. Dr. Bredesen discusses the role of brain training in improving cognitive function and recommends programs like Brain HQ for cognitive enhancement. He also emphasizes the importance of detoxification through methods such as saunas, filtered water, and toxin avoidance to reduce toxic burden on the brain. He suggests incorporating targeted supplements like magnesium, zinc, choline, vitamin D, and B12 to support cognitive health. Dr. Brayson introduces the concept of biomarkers such as phosphotau, neurofilament light, and GFAP for assessing brain health and monitoring cognitive decline. Dr. Bredesen explains the significance of phosphotau as a marker of synaptoclastic activity in the brain, indicating the breakdown of synapses. He also discusses the role of neurofilament light in assessing neuronal damage and the potential use of dapsone in treating neurodegenerative diseases. Dr. Bredesen highlights the significance of early detection and prevention in addressing Alzheimer's disease. He stresses that cognitive decline begins at least 20 years before symptoms manifest, making it crucial to start prevention efforts as early as possible. By identifying and addressing the root causes of cognitive decline, individuals can significantly reduce their risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Bradison's approach involves addressing various factors that contribute to cognitive decline, including inflammation, toxins, energetics, and trophic support. He explains that Alzheimer's disease is a complex network insufficiency that requires a comprehensive treatment plan. By optimizing these different aspects, individuals can improve their brain health and cognitive function. Each individual's journey to recovery from Alzheimer's disease is unique. Dr. Brayson emphasizes the importance of personalized treatment plans tailored to address the specific root causes of cognitive decline in each person. By identifying and targeting these factors, individuals can experience significant improvements in their cognitive function and quality of life. Dr. Bredesen's research and clinical trials have been instrumental in demonstrating the effectiveness of his approach to treating Alzheimer's disease. Despite initial rejections and challenges in obtaining funding for large-scale trials, he has continued to showcase the positive outcomes of his protocol through proof-of-concept trials and anecdotal evidence. By gradually building momentum and accumulating data, Dr. Bredesen aims to further validate his approach and make it more widely accessible to individuals seeking treatment for cognitive decline. Dr. Bredesen emphasizes the importance of lifestyle changes in maintaining brain health and preventing cognitive decline. These changes include following a healthy diet, 
getting adequate sleep, managing stress, and avoiding exposure to toxins. By addressing lifestyle factors, individuals can reduce their risk of developing Alzheimer's and improve overall health. Similar to routine screenings for other health conditions, Dr. Bredesen recommends a cognoscopy for individuals over 40 to assess cognitive function and identify potential risk factors for Alzheimer's. This involves blood tests, cognitive assessments, and imaging to detect early signs of cognitive decline and develop a personalized prevention plan. Dr. Bredesen highlights the impact of mold toxins on cognitive function. These toxins are produced by molds and can be volatile, getting into the air and affecting the brain, immune system, and other bodily functions. Exposure to mold toxins can lead to cognitive decline, immune system dysfunction, increased cancer risk, kidney damage, and other health issues. Dr. Bredesen emphasizes the importance of addressing mold toxin exposure as a common contributor to cognitive decline, even though it is often overlooked by traditional medical approaches. The individuals in the book underwent a treatment protocol developed by Dr. Bredesen, known as the Shoemaker Protocol. This protocol includes specific binders to remove toxins, reducing inflammation, and intranasal VIP treatment. By working with a physician who was willing to learn and apply this approach, the individuals were able to see significant improvements in their cognitive function. Through ongoing optimization of the protocol and addressing root causes, they experienced positive outcomes, with some achieving perfect scores on cognitive assessments. Dr. Braidson discusses the challenges in traditional medicine when it comes to addressing cognitive decline and Alzheimer's disease. Many physicians are resistant to learning new approaches and may rely on quick evaluations and prescriptions. The standard of care often focuses on symptom management rather than addressing the root causes of the disease. This can lead to missed opportunities for early intervention and personalized treatment. In a clinical trial involving participants aged 55 to 75 with mild cognitive impairment or early dementia, Dr. Bredesen's approach demonstrated remarkable results. 84% of participants showed improvement, challenging the notion that Alzheimer's is an irreversible condition. The trial highlighted the potential for cognitive enhancement and sustained improvement through a comprehensive treatment protocol. The equation of immune activation divided by energetics serves as a key framework in understanding Alzheimer's disease. Factors such as cerebral blood flow, mitochondrial function, and combustible substrates, ketones and glucose, impact the brain's immune response and energy supply. Balancing immune activation and energetics is essential for maintaining cognitive health and preventing neurodegeneration. Dr. Bredesen explains the role of the innate immune system and microglia in Alzheimer's disease. Microglia, specialized immune cells in the brain, play a crucial role in responding to pathogens and maintaining brain health. Dysregulation of microglial function can lead to neuroinflammation and synaptic loss, contributing to cognitive decline. The discussion touches on the impact of diet and lifestyle on cognitive health. While saturated fats and high glucose levels can contribute to inflammation and immune activation, a balanced diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids and low in inflammatory substances can support brain function. Understanding individual biomarkers and optimizing metabolic health is key to preventing cognitive decline. Dr. Bredesen highlights the importance of maintaining optimal microglial function for brain health. Microglia play a dual role in responding to threats and supporting neuronal function. Strategies to modulate microglial activation and promote neuroprotection can help mitigate neurodegenerative processes and enhance cognitive function. 